Hello everybody. It's time to leave Yellowstone aside for a bit and enable its spin-offs to shine. Yes, Yellowstone has been a major blessing for the past few years, as the series alleviated the Western genre, to the point that everyone wants to be either a rancher or cowboy these days. Even the weddings started to take place in the ranches, which is a great opportunity for the ranchers to expand their business. The sector owes a lot to Yellowstone in general, since the series is acting as a commercial for the Western country lifestyle. It seems like the commercial is working quite well. The season 4 premiere of the series managed to attract 10.5 million viewers, which is huge. This number made the show the most popular series on US TV in general, and we're not surprised to see this success. Well, since there is a major demand for Yellowstone, the creator of the show, Taylor Sheridan, decided to expand the universe with two spin-off series. One of them is a prequel titled 1883. It's focusing on the roots of the Duttons and how they managed to leave poverty behind and become the owner of the biggest ranch in Montana. The other one is Four Sixes, which is taking place in modern times. It even has some of our beloved Yellowstone characters as its leading actors, and we love the idea. The name Four Sixes is eye-catching, that's for sure. In Chinese culture, these numbers refer to the strength of a person, indicating that the one who sees these numbers aligned this way has his heart and mind strongly connected. Because the series will take place in the dangerous soils of Texas, we believe this symbolic meaning is fitting for the show. Nevertheless, the series does not take its name from Chinese culture. The title is the name of the ranch where the series will take place, which has been active since the 19th century. Yes, you heard it right. There is a ranch in Texas named Four Sixes Ranch, and it was founded back in 1870 by Samuel Burke Burnett. Since then, the ranch has expanded so much that it's one of the biggest ranches in the world now with 266,000 acres. Even though the Burnett family operated the ranch for decades, and even centuries, recently the ranch got stolen to Sheridan. This was a perfect opportunity for Sheridan to not only become a ranch owner, but also utilize his ranch as a TV show setting. The move shows his brilliance since he will have the ability to capture the real-life events of the ranch through a TV show with a zero cost for setting. This makes us question whether Four Sixes will have some documentary-style features. Still, there has been no information on such a move yet. Instead, as far as we know, it will be a completely fictional series that happened to take place in Four Sixes. According to the official premise of the series, the show will be about the ranch itself. Founded when Comanche is still ruled West Texas, no ranch in America is more steep in the history of the West than the Four Sixes, still operating as it did two centuries before and encompassing an entire county. The Four Sixes is where the rule of law and the laws of nature merge in a place where the most dangerous thing one does is the next thing. The Four Sixes is synonymous with the merciless endeavor to raise the finest forces and livestock in the world, and ultimately where world-class cowboys are born and made, the premise says. These words show that we will watch a version of Four Sixes that's highlighting the brutal nature of ranch life. Jefferson White, who plays Jimmy in Yellowstone, will be the leading character of the series, as he left Yellowstone to learn how to be a proper cowboy in Texas. Throughout Season 4 of Yellowstone, we witnessed Jimmy's journey towards Texas and got a glimpse of a basis for Four Sixes. Nevertheless, it wasn't an easy journey by any means. Unfortunately, Jimmy had to start over everything. He not only lost his physical health, but also his girlfriend, job, and shelter. Thus, we can confidently say that he wasn't eager to go to Texas by leaving life, as he knew it behind. Still, he obeyed John's orders and went on the road with the hope that he would return soon. It seems like this expected return will not take place as soon as he hopes, since Texas is full of challenges, and whoever survives the place is considered lucky. Naturally, it will take a long time for Jimmy to adjust to the place. Besides, he knows nobody there. Thankfully, last week's episode of Yellowstone witnessed an event that might put an end to Jimmy's loneliness in Texas. Teeter, who has been a beloved character of Yellowstone for the past couple of years, got kicked off from the ranch. It was an unfair move, as she was labeled as a scapegoat for Lloyd and Walker's stupid behaviors. Naturally, fans went mad, as they didn't want to see her leaving the show. We also had a hard time understanding why John would treat Teeter this way. Finally, we realized. John is likely to have another plan for Teeter in his mind, and we believe that plan might be related to the Four Sixes ranches. If we see Teeter joining Jimmy in Four Sixes soon, we will not be surprised. We believe she would be a great companion for Jimmy and makes it easier for him to survive this new environment. 
It would be a step up for Teeter, as well since she would get more opportunities to train herself as a cowboy there. We expect four sixes to be released sometime in December. Nevertheless, we're still yet to have a trailer for the show. That being said, we don't think we need any trailer since we already visit the series each week through Yellowstone. But a trailer might be effective in confirming our theories about Teeter, and we would love it. What do you think of four sixes? Do you think the series will meet your expectations? What about Teeter? Are you excited to see her in the series? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching, see you soon.